Hey guys, it's Heather from Cal of a Plan, and today I'm really excited to bring you guys another video in my series with Arteza. Thank you to Arteza for sponsoring this series. It's been so much fun, and I'm super excited to show you guys this product from Arteza because it is right up our alley, and by our, I mean fellow planner babes. So this is Arteza's weekly magnetic dry erase calendar set. I'm super excited about this set. I plan on using it in our kitchen downstairs, but first let's open it up and then I can talk to you guys a little bit more about what all is inside plus how I'm going to be using this product. So it's a pretty big box. I don't know if the video really shows how big it is, but like this is my hand. So it's a pretty big board. Um, but it is not as thick as the box leads you to believe. So like if you're looking at the box, it's like showing to be thick, but it's actually a thinner board and they just have, it looks like foam behind the board. And this is magnetic. So I could even put it maybe on the side of our fridge. The front of our fridge isn't magnetic, but the side is. So it might could work there. So I'm gonna pull off the plastic. So you inside, you get a couple of different things. You first, you get little icons. These are magnetic icons that you can put onto your dry erase board. And then this is an extra magnet that is great for the kitchen. It's got conversion, it's a conversion chart. So you could throw this on your fridge as well and just have these conversion charts right there for you to refer to whenever you're cooking. And then you have your weekly planner. And then you have, it comes with dry erase markers, which I didn't realize that it came with dry erase markers. And I was actually looking for my dry erase markers. And then I was like, huh, I wonder if this comes with it. And I looked at the back and I was like, it does. I don't have to search for dry erase markers. So I was really pumped to see that it came with it. Okay, and then I think these are erasers. Whoops. <laughs> and a nifty little thing. Okay, so you get two erasers. I'm not sure if they're magnetic or not. And then you get, I think, 12 markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And each marker also has an eraser on the tip. So I plan on using this in our kitchen so that, so you guys know I have millions of planners that I use, right? We sh I show you guys my planners like every day on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram. So you know that I use planners, but my husband is really bad about referring to my planner and then he'll be like, what are you doing this week? Or what are you doing today? Or what do we have going on? And I'm like, I told you. And he's like, I didn't remember. I'm like, it's in my planner, which is on my desk. And he's like, I don't ever look at your planner. So I'm thinking that this will be great for me to fill in at the beginning of every week and hang on in our kitchen so that my husband can refer to it. So I'm going to kind of show you guys how I plan on using it so that it gives you guys some ideas in case you want to pick up a magnetic planner for your own family. I'm thinking of it kind of like as home base, a home for our family to refer to this planner without him needing to like open my actual planner so it says week of at the top and it has some cute little decals and then it has sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday um sunday's over here i got confused for a second we have to do shopping goals of the week and notes so i'm going to fill this out for next week which is july 29th through August 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Okay, I'm already confused. I'm a little bit confused because this is going Sunday to Saturday and I'm so used to planning Monday to Sunday and looking at my weeks that way that this is kind of throwing me off a little bit. So this is actually July 28th through August first second third third okay now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color code some of these things so in red I'm gonna write our dinner plans on the bottom it 
Saturday I leave for camp, so Matthew is going to be on his own. Friday we're going to have date night. Oops, I was writing Friday. Tuesday, we're going to have tacos. Wednesday, we're going to have salads. Thursday, we'll have homemade pizza. Um, Sunday, we'll probably do Mexican bowls. And Monday, we're going to grill out. Okay. Then, and what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to make me a little colored chart. So, red is going to stand for dinner. Blue is going to stand... For Matthew. Pink is going to stand for Heather. So we'll be using these three so far. Um, maybe green. Green is going to stand for Aaron's. Orange is going to stand for chores and maybe purple can stand for maybe bills okay so now i have this color coding of my calendar and i am going to take the black and i'm going to date these so that I have the date. Okay, since I already know my things, I'm going to take the pink and I'm going to say dentist at two. And I don't even have to write Heather because it's pink. And looking down here, he should know that that's pink. Wednesday, I'm going to put babysit Maddie. at one um, Saturday in pink I leave for camp and we already know off the bat that pink is for Heather now I'm going to grab the blue which is for Matthew and I'm going to put study 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 he's basically studying all week for an exam that he has to take for work okay um on friday our cell phone bill is still due so i'm going to take purple and write t-mobile okay then I'm going to go ahead and take the orange and I'm going to fill in some chores for us to do each each day. So Monday, I'm going to say kitchen. That's Sunday. Monday, I'm going to say sweep and mop. Tuesday, bathrooms. Wednesday, laundry Thursday bedrooms Friday office actually I'm not gonna clean on Friday we'll put office on Saturday okay errands the top of my head, he 
here I'm gonna put grocery shop but besides that I don't know what errands will need to run this week so that's something that I can fill in goals of the week I'm gonna take a different color spend time together before camp. Okay. I do need to rewrite Mexican bowls because my hand smeared it. And then over here for the to-do list, um, I can put check marks. Part of me wants to just go ahead and put these check marks in Sharpie so that they stay, but we'll do dry erase for now. Again, I'm not sure what all I'm going to put over there. Shopping, this is going to be a good place for us to list different groceries that we need. So that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to hang it. Oh, I forgot about these. So this little birthday, I could put this here because this is actually my niece's birthday. And I could write Lexi's B-Day. Mm. Date night. Could be this one. Oops. That's pretty good. I'm not going to put the rest for now. But I really love it. I think it's going to be good for Matthew and I to have this in the kitchen where we both can see it and just at a glance see things that are going on. Matthew can grab the colors and add things that, you know, he knows about. And I think this will help to get him involved in planning, which like planning for our family, which I'm super excited about. So if you need like one stop shop for your family where everyone can see what's going on, I highly recommend this um, magnetic board. You could just pop it on your refrigerator and everyone has access to it. And it's going to be great. So if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. If you want to purchase this, click the link in the description. And happy planning.